أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحاكم التكاثر حتى زدتم المقابر كلا سوف تعلمون ثم كلا سوف تعلمون كلا لو تعلمون علم اليقين لترون الجحيم ثم لترونها عين اليقين ثم لتسألون يومئذ عن السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I'm making this video kind of you know without preparation today uh, I want to discuss a very serious matter I apologize in advance if there's shakiness or choppiness last Monday March 1st I attended an event with uh, the speaker was Sister Amina Asilmi. Mashallah, she um, she converted to Islam, I believe, back in the 80s. Um, she's a, been a very successful da'iyah, calling people to Islam, doing da'wah. Um, and alhamdulillah, she came to an event to speak about the rights of women in Islam, the role of women in Islam. Mashallah, it was a very beautiful event. It went very well, it was a high turnout. Today, Friday, March 5th, I was at a Juma. Today's Friday. I was at Juma. And after the khutbah, the khutbah was, khutbah was on the topic of ability and acceptance. Qabil and Qabul. If I'm pronouncing that correctly, inshallah. And the khatib was, the khatib was speaking about you know, there could be a man who, or a person, who has very little knowledge, a few abilities, but he's sincere, he's a good Muslim, and Allah will accept from him, will accept his actions, accept his deeds. And at the same time, we may have many abilities and talents and skills. We might use our abilities, but it may not be that our abilities and our actions are accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and so ultimately our, our actions are not worth anything and we may do things that we perceive as even even good deeds but for those who are not doing them for the sake of Allah for those who do not have the iman, do not have the belief these actions are not going to be as you know, accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so, you know, very appropriate for, um, very appropriate topic, given the circumstances. Um, because Sister Amina uh, Asilmi, she, mashallah, was an incredible day. I only, I met her on Monday. I only said a few words to her. She, the, her, her manner of speaking was, you know, she, she really, made her points very clear um, she dealt with people from, and I don't have much experience with her, I only went to this one event and spoke to her for a moment her manner of dealing with people her akhlaq, her manners her character was you could you got a real sense of a goodness from her she was respectful, she treated people well Again, this is all coming from one meeting, from one event that I attended that she that she spoke at. And I, I was very impressed with her. She spoke about Quran, about how about how you could the, the amount of things that you would get out of Quran, the the beauty of the Quran, and how every time you pick up the Quran, you learn something new. At the end of the khutbah. The Imam, 
made an announcement. He said, uh, Amina Silmi, many of you know her. She is a, she has uh, been in Da'iyah, calling people to Islam, and speaker on Islamic issues for many years. And she passed away yesterday in a car accident. So I, I, it affected me a lot and um, really hit me because, you know, I, I just met her four days ago. SubhanAllah. And the, the, I think the reason that it had such an impact on me was because oftentimes we hear about people who pass away and either we don't know their actions or maybe, you know, especially coming from a non-Muslim background, people pass away and... Um, you know, a lot of times the thinking is, oh, you know, may Allah accept from them. I hope that they had enough good deeds. You know, they, they did enough good in their life and they, their actions will be accepted by Allah. But subhanAllah, in this case, this is a person of such high caliber, at, from, at least from my, um, uh, from my impression, may Allah accept from her. Such high caliber, she's been doing such good in her life. She, she was, only days ago she was attending an event and speaking on these issues, teaching people and trying to increase the Iman and calling people to Islam even calling the Muslims to be better Muslims um, and you know, in our life you know, it's amazing because she had all these good deeds and now she's, she's gone she's been returned to her Lord, her Lord inna lillahi wa inna lillahi rajiyun Allah we belong to him is our turn. I'm running short on time. I know I don't wanna I don't wanna cut this too short. You know, I'll make this a two part, we'll see. But we in our lives, you know, may Allah make us, you know, at that level when we pass away. In our lives we focus so much on this life. We focus so much on the comforts of this life and that's why I recited to you this verse. Surah al takatur Inshallah, please, you know, listen to it again and, and really contemplate. We focus so much on these things, but it's death that reminds us of what's really important and, and how these things are fleeting and they'll be gone tomorrow and what will we be left with. All you're going to be left with when you pass away is the things that you achieved and the things that are going to be accepted by Allah. So what are you doing today to prepare for this? Because a lot of things in life are uncertain. You know, we, we have hopes and desires and we you know, say maybe this will happen in my life inshallah God willing but everyone knows that death is a certainty there's no escaping it so what are you doing to prepare for this certainty we, people save for retirement people put all their money away people are preparing for you know saving up for vacations whatever it is but who, how much are we saving for the akhirah for the hereafter people act Muslim, non-Muslim, doesn't matter. People act as if they're going to live forever. Or at least they act like they're going to live to an old age. Walk through a cemetery. Visit the graves, as the, you know, as the ayah says. Look at the, the dates. You will not find every grave to be 70, 80, 90 years old. You'll find people 20 years old, 30 years old, 2 years old, 6 months. The time of our death is only known to Allah. And I wish I had more time to speak about this. But inshallah, please, prepare for this and do not, do not ignore or put this off. Because you do not know when you're going to die. You could die tomorrow. And only Allah knows. Inshallah, if you are not a Muslim, become a Muslim today. Do not put this off. Go on my videos I have a video how to become a Muslim watch it become a Muslim if you don't know about Islam learn about it I swear by Allah this is the way this is the one path that will be accepted by Allah if you are Muslim seriously look at your actions make sure that you are acting in accordance with Allah's will and do not put off correcting yourself we have to change today if you're going to change make it to all right now pray whether you're Muslim or not Muslim say Allah guide me and show me the straight path I mean and accept for me يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون